If you've recently began journaling or if you have a newfound desire to journal or scrapbook, one thing that may not be super obvious is that you are able and allowed to journal about things that have happened in your past. It's okay if time has passed, whether it's days, weeks, months, or even years. And in this video, I hope to show you how easy and fun it is to do this and hopefully encourage you to get started. If you're a newbie at journaling or just wanted to get back into it, this is also a really great way to practice or to fill out pages when you feel like you have nothing to journal about. Journaling about the past can be useful if you feel like you missed an opportunity or didn't have the time to journal it at the moment that it happened. It's a great tool for going back and remembering or documenting a certain time in your life, or it can even be a great healing process. For me, I love to include photos and memorabilia in my journals, which makes them similar to scrapbooking, only it's a little bit more relaxed and less formal, which allows me full creative freedom with absolutely no pressure. To journal about an old memory, I would highly recommend collecting photos from the day or the event or the time and using them in your pages to help prompt your memory and evoke the feelings from that moment. If you can't print your photos, I would still recommend looking at them before or as you journal to help bring you back to that time. And if you don't have photos, just take the time to really remember and recount the memory. Think about the things that most stood out to you. You can use the senses, see, hear, smell, taste and touch to help you with this. You also don't necessarily need to have photos. You might have some other type of memorabilia that prompts journaling. For example, you might find an old postcard, a note, a list, a letter, a drawing or otherwise that might remind you of a certain time or of a certain person. Next, I would look for additional decorative items to include in the page. So these could be envelopes, patterned pages, or you could paint or draw a picture to go along with your memory. You can also always go back to a certain place to gather more ephemera. So for example, if I had a memory outdoors somewhere, I could go back and I could pick a flower and press it. Or if I visited a restaurant, I could get a business card, a menu, or I could Google and print images of the branding or of the place at the year that I visited it. Next, I place everything into my page and I just have fun with the process of making the page look nice. And sometimes I like to add interactive elements to make the page more interesting. Once I'm happy with the placement of everything, I add in my written journaling. So I put together a couple of prompts for journaling old memories. So the first thing I think is just the basics, like who, what, when, where, and why. So just giving the basic facts about the memory, where it was, who was there, and all of that kind of thing. Another one is how did you feel? What do you remember the most? Was it a positive or a negative memory or experience and why? What did you learn? Do you have any regrets and what has changed? So I've created a little graphic with these prompts which you can just pause the video and take a screenshot or you can visit my Instagram page and save the post over there. So you can use this prompt list for reference whenever you're journaling old memories. And you could also print it out and just have it as a handy little reference in your journal. What I love most about doing this kind of journaling is it allows me to go back and almost relive a special moment or look back on my life and see how much has changed. It makes me reflect on parts of my life or moments in my life that I may have previously overlooked or just stop and see more value in my journey. It also enforces more appreciation for the people around me in my life and it can be a really positive healing experience. I hope this video was helpful and that you're feeling inspired to journal. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.